What would you do if you knew of a valuable resource that was being wasted? What would you do if you knew that this resource could have tremendous value if used wisely or become a financial burden if neglected? What would you do? What if the resource was a child? What if much of this child's life was going to be determined by the attention he or she received before kindergarten? What would you do? These are the children of the working poor, the children of parents who work long, hard hours at jobs no one else wants, pay their taxes, and end the week with barely enough money for food and rent. These are the children who live in cramped trailers, in migrant camps, or crowded housing areas. Children of parents with minimal formal education, parents who often speak no English, and families who have little contact with the world you and I take for granted. These mothers and fathers were themselves children of poverty, raised by poor, undereducated parents in a closed culture of family and community. From the first day of kindergarten, they encountered an impenetrable cultural wall, and like their parents before them, left school early to find work. Since 1965, RCMA has been helping these working poor families and their children break the cycle of poverty and ignorance through a broad range of programs, from early childhood development to college training. Each day at RCMA Child Development Centers throughout the state of Florida, over 6,000 children from migrant and working poor families receive loving care and warm meals and are encouraged to develop a desire to succeed. At the core of RCMA's success is a philosophy of involvement involvement of parents and community in the education and care of their children. The late Wendell Rollison, director of RCMA from 1968 to 1988, was a nationally recognized advocate for migrants and the working poor. It was his vision of involvement that led to RCMA's practice of hiring and training farm working parents to staff and operate RCMA's child development centers. Because of this practice, today there are hundreds of former farm workers and rural poor women and men who hold college degrees and management positions, not just in RCMA, but in other nonprofit organizations and corporations as well. Across the state of Florida, in 20 counties, not just children and families, but entire communities have been changed through this combination of involvement, education, and opportunity. It begins here. Poor mothers must return to work to help support their families. And babies as young as six weeks are often brought to RCMA's child development centers to be cared for until their parents return. These babies will receive loving care, appropriate nourishment and stimulation, and their development is monitored carefully. The children will receive hot meals, enjoy developmentally appropriate activities, and receive the attention they will need for optimum development. As preschoolers, the teaching will intensify, and the children will learn a love of reading using educational methods approved by the National Association for the Education of Young Children, or NACI. At every step in their education, each child's development will be monitored and evaluated. It's the most comprehensive education model available today. But the children aren't the only ones that are constantly learning. RCMA staff receive extensive and ongoing training in teaching applications, ways to assess each child's individual progress, and how to observe outcomes. In addition, staff receive ongoing computer training in everything from internet access to working with the computerized records that track each child's development. Each RCMA center has a dedicated staff member who collects and enters this information and ensures that this critical information is used and can follow the child to another community or school. Mr. Rollison said many times that ideally, RCMA should support these migrant and poor children from the cradle through the 12th grade. 
today because of the dedication and hard work of RCMA's Board of Trustees and Executive Director Barbara Mainster, there are presently two RCMA charter schools, the RCMA Academy in Waimama, Florida, and the RCMA Community School in Immokalee. Together, these schools serve 260 children in grades kindergarten through eight. It's difficult to overemphasize the importance of RCMA charter schools to these children. In these classrooms and with these teachers, it's okay to be poor. Okay to have parents who work in the fields or packing houses. Okay to live in a work camp or in the projects. It's an environment that supports the difficult transition from poor minority kid to a confident, eager student with bright hopes for the future. Step by step, grade by grade, the children are learning not only that they can succeed, but that they can excel. RCMA's charter schools are also based on the idea of strong parent involvement. In addition, many of the teachers and administrators have come from the communities we serve. Some are even former RCMA children who have gone on to college and returned to help other kids realize their potential. RCMA is also involved in after-school and community programs. Farm workers and the rural poor work long, hard hours. And at many RCMA centers, elementary and middle school children receive tutoring, healthy snacks, and enjoy recreation until their parents return to take them home. The parents also attend evening classes in many RCMA centers. Adult literacy programs, family nutrition, and basic computer training are only a few of the many classes available. What would you do if you knew of a valuable resource that was being wasted? What would you do if you knew that this resource could have tremendous value if used wisely, or become a financial burden if neglected? What would you do? From its earliest beginnings in 1965, RCMA has nurtured and cared for these precious resources. has provided them and their mothers and fathers with encouragement and support, and by doing so, has shown these children and their families that a world of opportunity awaits them. From the youngest baby in her crib, to the grandmother in front of a computer, to the student that has returned to teach, RCMA has been a force for change, for advancement, for the achievement of potential. Across the state of Florida, in communities large and small, each and every day, lives, young and old, are being changed. Your contributions to RCMA help make these programs possible. Each dollar you contribute can mean up to $16 in matching funds. For more information on how you can help support RCMA and its children and their families, call 1-800-282-6540 or visit our website at rcma.org.